Japanese has so many first person pronouns. 私は要です。僕は要です。俺、要。よろしく。私、要って言うの。私、要。与え、要って言うんだけど、なんか文句ある。わしは要という、ただのじじいじゃ。おっす。おら、要。我は要である。要ね。Kaname te yunda in Japanese. The first person pronoun that you use reflects your personality, gender, or even sometimes age. So, based on what first person pronoun that you use, people can tell what kind of person you are. So, today I'm going to introduce common first person pronoun that is used in daily life, or some first person pronoun that is used in fiction, like in anime or some game. So, you can have clear idea of many first person pronouns. So, you can pick some first person pronoun that you use, or you can also listen to some Japanese people using that pronoun and have some idea about what kind of person he is or she is. First, I'm going to introduce the most convenient and the safest and the most boring first person pronoun that Japanese people use. That is watashi. Anyone can use watashi. It doesn't have any indication of your personality, character, or gender, or age or whatsoever. So it is very convenient. Anyone can use it. But I said it's boring because it doesn't tell anything about you. You're just being humble and polite. That's it. So, especially when you're talking in polite form, if you use watashi, all we know is that, yeah, you're being polite and humble. That's it. But I don't know anything about your personality. こんにちは。私は、かなめです。私は、北海道札幌市出身です。すいません。私、明日、仕事なので、今日は飲みに行けません。But, 私 is also used in casual form. But when you use 私 in casual form, it has feminine feeling. So, usually, men don't use this pronoun, 私 to refer to himself when talking in casual form. 私、カナメって言うの。よろしくね。私、今日はそばが食べたいな。It has feminine feeling. If you want to be very polite, there's also one pronoun that is more polite than 私。That is, 私。私 is only used when you're serving customers or when you're giving very formal speech. Referring to yourself using watakushi is not necessary in most of the situation. It is just too polite. Unless, for example, the company you're working r e q u i r e you to use the pronoun watakushi when you are talking to customer, I don't see any reason you use this pronoun watakushi because it's too polite, makes people uncomfortable. Watakushi wa Ain Kabushiki Gaisha, Ayo Bu no Kaname to Moshimas. 何かご不明な点がございましたら、私、カナメにご連絡ください。There is a broken form of pronoun, 私 that is, あたし。In Japan, humbleness and reservedness is important virtue of women. So many women refer to themselves using 私 because 私 has its humble and reservedness feeling. Since あたし is a broken form of 私 So, it has a feeling of being a little bit rebellious. You refuse to fit into this stereotypical type of woman. So, whenever you call yourself using atashi, it gives a feeling of that you have strong personality and not afraid to be regarded as not polite, not humble. And usually, people don't use atashi when they're speaking in polite form. Only used when they're speaking in casual form. Atashi, Kanojo to Chigate, Omota Koto, and Andemo Hakiri, you type yo. Ne, Atashi no doko ga ski. Atai is a pronoun that gives delinquent feeling. And this atai is stereotypically used among those female delinquents or those female gang members. You rarely see people actually using the pronoun atai, but there are still some women use this pronoun. Because they like the sound of it. So, if you use the pronoun atai to refer to yourself, people will think that you must have very strong personality. Or maybe you are a kind of person who l i k e to pick fight. Atai to tsuki aitai te? Atai ni koi shita ra kega suru yo. Atai o dare da to mutten no? Kenka utten no? 
Boku is a first person pronoun that is used mainly by men. And this pronoun Boku has humble feeling, polite feeling. So those polite male, they like to use the pronoun Boku. And also many kids, many small boys, they use pronoun Boku. Because their parents wouldn't teach them to use the pronoun Ore. Ore is also a pronoun that is mainly used by men. But Ore has arrogant vibe. So many parents don't want to teach the kids to use ole because that sounds like this kid is not educated. But when the kids get into the school, because they got to interact with other kids, many of the kids learn to use the pronoun ole because ole sounds more strong. Many of blue color workers, many of those delinquents who act tough and strong, they use the pronoun ole. So in order to look strong, in order to avoid being bullied. Many small boys, they start using the pronoun ore so their classmates don't look down on them. But still, if you use the pronoun boku, it gives a feeling that oh, you are a well-educated person. So still many men, they learn to use the pronoun boku when they are grown up. But there's one thing you should note. There's two different types of boku. One is boku. The other one is boku. This boku has a little bit of childish vibe. So when those grown-ups use in polite form, they tend to use boku in the other form. That is boku. Boku wa. This boku sounds more mature than boku. So many men after growing up, when they use in polite form or in casual form, they tend to use boku instead of boku. Boku wa kaname. Na, boku wa kaname desu. I myself, when I talk in polite form, I refer to myself using boku. Boku, boku wa, boku wa. But when I talk in casual form, I use ore instead. Konnichiwa, boku wa kaname desu. Gosai desu. Boku wa biru yori nihonshu no hoga suki da na. Boku wa asatte shuchou de kankoku ni ikimasu. There is also a situation where Women use the pronoun boku. Boku is usually used by men, but in some cases, for example, in some lyrics or in anime or even in real life, there are sometimes some girls who refer to themselves as boku. When women use the pronoun boku, it gives a feeling of gender neutrality, as if this person didn't learn to act like woman. Maybe this girl isn't grown up in secluded environment where she doesn't interact with other people and she didn't learn to be like woman. She didn't learn to act like woman. So she just grown up to be just a person who doesn't have this feeling of gender. So some women prefer using the pronoun boku when they're writing some song or even in real life. Boku wa hoka no onna no ko mitai ni furumae nai yo. Ore is a pronoun that is used by men and ore gives a feeling of arrogance. So many men who try to be polite and humble use the pronoun boku instead. If you're trying to act like an educated person, then you should avoid using the pronoun ore because the using the pronoun ore gives a sound of rough, uneducated, ill-mannered men. But still, Many men, including me, use the pronoun ore when we talk in casual form. Ore, ashita shigoto aru kara, kyo wa haeku kaeru wa, komen ne. Ore wa kouyu ee ga amma suki janai na. Sometimes female characters use the pronoun ore, especially those characters who try to act like men, act tough and rough. There's also dialect in Japan where women use the pronoun ore, but that is not that common. Onna da kara te ore wo baka ni sunna yo. Ora is a pronoun that gives a feeling of a countryman. Those who are away from the city, who lives in remote village, who never been to a big city, stereotypically use the pronoun ora. But mostly used in anime or other fiction. And in real life, you rarely see a person who call themselves ora. But there are few. Ora is originally from northeastern dialect. So maybe there are some people still using the pronoun around that region. But nowadays it is not really common to see someone who referring to themselves as ora. 
Goku in Dragon Ball referred to himself as Ola. Us, Ola Goku. Ola, hajimete Tokyo sa kita da. You also see in anime some old people use the pronoun washi. Washi is stereotypically used by old people in fiction. But in real life, I rarely see old people using that pronoun. Only a situation where I see people actually using the pronoun is those who use Hiroshima dialect. People from Hiroshima use washi just like we use ore. Ware is a pronoun that is used long time ago, but we don't use it right now. But you see, in fiction, some people use the pronoun ware, especially those characters who are from ancient times, or some characters who are not human. Some robots, aliens, or gods may use the pronoun ware. Only situation I see people using the pronoun ware is by Kansai people. They use the pronoun ware as a second person pronoun. There's also many other first person pronouns that I haven't talked yet. Some of them are dialect, some of them are outdated pronouns. Basically, I already listed the most common first person pronouns that people actually use or you often hear in fiction. Oh, there's also one pronoun that is common and I haven't talked yet. That is, refer to yourself using your own name. My name is Kaname. So, I use Kaname as my first person pronoun. I don't even sure if I can call it pronoun. Let me demonstrate. Kaname, Kaname chotto ne. Referring to yourself using your own name is something that kids do. Because everyone calls the kids using the name, so some small kid start referring to themselves using the pronoun. If I'm a, like three years old, everyone calls me Kaname Kaname. So I call it Kaname. Kaname onaka suita. Kaname gohan tabetai. Kaname atama gaitai. When kids do that, it's adorable. It's cute. It sounds cute. So some girls refer to themselves using their own name even after they became adult. There is even worse one. If you refer to yourself using your name plus chan, it's a disaster. Some of my female friends they refer to themselves using their name, but they sound still natural. If you get the hang of it, you can refer to yourself with your own name and sound normal. But that is difficult. If you want to act kawaii, maybe this is the pronoun that you can use. 